Hi everybody, David Dillon here on behalf of Marksware. Got a good question over here on Quora. This is not Quora, right here. And the question is basically, how do you italicize text in design? You see, I already started writing the answer. <laughs> but I thought it was, you know, maybe a nice one to share a little quick little video with. So if we go over into InDesign here, I have a document set up. This is our Pantone test uh, document, or one of many. Pantone's the hot thing right now. As our type one fonts, check the video below on how to check and find unsupported Pantone colors in any of your Adobe files that we support. InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, these type of files, PDFs. Okay, so I got some text here. So the way you italicize a font, you know, before in Quark Express days, you could take a text, you could, you could hit it, and you could go up to here, and there'd be like a share it and get to uh, you could go up top and you could hit here like an italic but you see there's there's no italic uh, possibility there and that's for good reason because people would hit that in quark and that you would you would get an artificially italicized font that would be a huge preflight problem because a lot of rips couldn't handle it because the rip was looking for in this case Arial italic but it was actually aerial regular that was artificially italicized so but the, the proper way to do it in design you choose your font you know, whatever font it might be for instance uh futura and then you go here and you can choose the italicized uh, version oops well you can see this is a good example here we don't really have this is sort of a what well, is italicized, but it's too light. So you don't have the proper italicized versions. You need to find a font that suits your purpose. So if we have this one, nope, look, also no italic. You have to find a font that's good for that use. And just you know, simple example here, Arial does have italic, boom. And now we see the font is italic. And that's how you italicize a font in InDesign. Use the proper typeface. Just to show you, I can now take that file drop it on flight check here and we'll scan or x-ray the file look inside of it and tell you what's being used even give you a preview of the indesign file which is not possible with an indesign file in the other application you need indesign to preview it but flight check will give you a preview and you'll see we find all the different um, uh, colors and we see here that aerial italic and uh, how it's used and we get a preview of it and we can see it of course in the preview up there here you see some of the unsupported Pantone colors uh, that are being used. We show you the lab values that you can use in your document. Uh, InDesign and other Adobe tools should, at least InDesign will give you these lab values, but if not, you have them here, which is very handy as well. So that's FlyCheck to check your files after you've used italic fonts, like you just saw how you can make italic fonts in InDesign, or to check for problems in your files before sending them to the next person in the workflow, or worse yet, before printing. All right, David Dilling from Marshall, wishing you a great day.